In the summer of 1928, the Nicholsons and Wood went to Cornwall. Part of their holiday, they went to St. Ives, where they, for the first time, met the marine painter, Alfred Wallace. Alfred Wallace was born in the 1950s. He'd served on boats which crossed the Atlantic and also on mackerel luggers sailing out of Penzance and St. Ives. The picture is called Schooner and Icebergs. It's believed to be the Bella Venture in which Alfred Wallace crossed the Atlantic. What I particularly like about it is these nautical details. We have the rat lines and also these reefing knots. If we look from left to right, there's a sort of interaction between the sails and the icebergs. We have sail, iceberg, sail, sail, iceberg, sail, iceberg, iceberg. And there's almost an element of humor in the way in which these two interact. But it's also a deeply tragic picture. Some of Wallace's friends left the day before to return to Cornwall. They met a fierce storm in mid-Atlantic and never made it. And you get a sense here of the roughness of the sea. Look how white it is and the way in which the wave comes over the gunwale of the boat. What we have to do is ask ourselves what the Nicholsons and Wood felt when they saw these pictures. And I think there are a number of features here. One is their directness, their complete lack of self-consciousness. But I think also it's the sense of movement that he creates. Look how easily the boat moves across the surface of the work. And he's partly done this by cutting the work down so that it's not in your usual rectangular shape. He's also very happy to make us aware of the material on which he is painted. It's almost as if this is a piece of driftwood which is washed up on the shore. Each of Ben Nicholson, Winifred Nicholson and Christopher Wood responded to Wallace in different ways. Here we have a painting by Winifred Nicholson, Boat on a Stormy Sea, which I believe was painted from Porthmere Beach looking out to sea. What I love about it is the way in which you get a clear sense of her enjoying painting the picture. She's loaded up her brush with paint and go right across and give this wonderful sense of the movement of the sea. But look here at the spray as the wavers hit that rock at the end of Porthmere. Of the three painters, it was Ben Nicholson who was most engaged and took most from Alfred Wallace. Here we have a pair which gives a sense of that. Look at the way which he's left the support visible so we get a sense of what he's making on. But I love this Wallace, the way we've got the four luggers coming out of the port, going out to sea, with the waves crashing up against the lighthouse.